So take me to church. Um, I've, I, in the past, have spoken a lot about it and what, what kind of what it's, what it's, what it's about and, and where the song came from. What amazes me about that song becoming a, the hit that it became, and it was a very much an unlikely hit, is that the vocals that you're hearing on that track and the backing vocals that you're hearing on that track is all just me in, in my attic. Um, we went and re-recorded the piano and the drums and other elements to it, um, and the guitar, etc. But all of the vocals and all of a lot of the atmosphere on that track, it's, it's just amazing that it was made in such a DIY kind of uh, place, it just just in an, in an attic, and it still it still kind of managed to do do what it did and, and find find a home where it where it found it in, in people's kind of hearts and minds, which is great. So a song that would have been quite influential to me would, would have been uh, Van Morrison's Sweet Thing from his Astral Weeks album. That album as a whole was very, very influential to me and I think a very, very important album. But Sweet Thing is this very, like, harmonically quite, quite, a, quite a simple, straightforward piece of work, but like texturally it's, it's so rich and so lush. I suppose it's just a perfect love song. It's like a, it's it, it's it's just somebody imagining all of these things that they that they want to do and that they will do. In contrast to how descriptive the verses are, which is you know these are the things that I'm going to do. These are the things that there's a real sense of kind of uh, renewal and, and hopefulness to it. The the chorus is just this very simple. You're you're a sweet thing. You're 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 the best. Which is I don't know. It's it, there's, it, in relief to the verse is very very. Um, effective. So the track Movement uh, would be one of my favourite ones I think off, off the uh, record. As the years went by I started seeing a lot of people uh, dancing to, to my own music. I'm not a uh, well coordinated uh, person in, in that regard, I'm not a dancer. Watching Sergei Palunin uh, dance to Take Me to Church in a video that was directed by David Le Chappelle, which uh, was a really, really nice surprise to me and kind of gave the song a, a new life and a new, a new kind of spirit, which is awesome because then I was able to reach out to, to Sergey and ask would he be part of the video for, for Movement, which again just kind of brought that full circle. Wasteland, comma, baby, exclamation mark, um, is a sort of a, a kind of a play on words and a, like a, a love song, I suppose, for, for the end of the world. A lot of these are kind of love songs for the end of the world in, in some way or, or another. Wasteland Baby is kind of does away I suppose with metaphor and just decides to like to embrace and, and enjoy the imagery of the actual end of the world. I suppose it's, it's best summed up with just the, the end line in, in, in the chorus which is you know be, be still my indelible friend you are unbreaking though quaking though crazy that's just Wasteland Baby. And so it's, it's a song for somebody's Wasteland Baby. It's a nice little love story between two people at the end of the world, and it's, it's a fun one. Hey, this is Hosier, and I've just sat down with Amazon Music to talk about my new record and previous songs, and to talk about their influences and where the songs come from. If you want to check it out, just ask Alexa to play Side by Side with Hosier.